Hi, this is Andre, and this is a new video in a series of the videos about the difference between Old Church Slavonic and Old East Slavic, which is sometimes called Old Russian. This video is about the difference in the initial sounds of the words in both languages, in particular about initial vowels, because they were sometimes different. All right, let's take a closer look at that. First off, you should know that both languages evolved from Proto-Slavic, which also was the mother tongue for Old Polish, Old Czech, Old Bulgarian, Old Serbian, etc. All right. So the common Slavic or Proto-Slavic initial E produced Y in Old Church Slavonic and O in Old East Slavic. Let's take a few examples. The Proto-Slavic or Common Slavic word for a deer is Elenia. And its reflex in Old Church Slavonic is Yelenia and Old East Slavic Olenia. Next, the Proto-Slavic word for one is Edina, which gave Yedino in Old Church Slavonic and Odino in Old East Slavic. And finally, the Proto-Slavic or Common Slavic word for lake is Ezero, with the reflexes in Old Church Slavonic Jezero and Ozero in Old East Slavic. Okay, the next difference is the case of the initial A in Common Slavic. So the Common Slavic initial A produced A in Old Church Slavonic and produced Ja in Old East Slavic. Let's take a look at the examples, which are az to say I or me in Common Slavic, which produced az in Old Church Slavonic, and jaz in Old East Slavic, that later was reduced to just ja. The next word is aviti, which is to show, to present, to display, and that remains the same in Old Church Slavonic, which is Aviti, and changes to Yaviti in Old East Slavic. And finally, the third word for this example is Abloko, which is an apple, with the Church Slavonic reflex Abloko, and the Old East Slavic reflex Yabloko. Finally, the third difference in the initial vowels between the two languages we see in the reflexes of the initial U or U sounds. So the common Slavic U and U merged in both Old Church Slavonic and Old East Slavic but had different reflexes. So the common Slavic U U produced U in Old Church Slavonic and symbol U in Old East Slavic. Let's see the examples. The common Slavic word for a young man was Junosha and it was preserved in this form in Old Church Slavonic. So it has Junosha and yet it changed to Unosha in Old East Slavic. A different thing happens to another word which is Udol meaning a valley but also poetically the poetical meaning is like a destiny or a fate, so a valley along which the life goes. So the common common Slavic or the Proto-Slavic word for uh, word is udol, which changes to udol in Old Church Slavonic and remains as udol in Old East Slavic. All right, so much for those examples about the difference between Old Church Slavonic and Old East Slavic in terms of initial vowels 
there are many differences between the two languages and we will take a look at them in our next videos. So subscribe to our channel and see you soon. And of course, have a wonderful day.